All right, so what's going on, guys? In this video, I will no junk show you how to get the Meta Human Creator project and set it all up and then um, use the live link face uh, motion capture app on your iOS iPhone devices. All right, so obviously there's a crap ton of people very interested in this technology right now. I mean, one of my videos had like 30,000 views on it for in like two days and people want to know a lot of people are pretty much jumping ship into Unreal Engine even more so now so this is uh, for you guys pretty much a uh, beginner tutorial on how to get this thing started all right so first things first let's get the meta human creator so if you go to the marketplace and make sure you have 4.261 as your Unreal Engine 4 version and if you go right here and just type meta human you're gonna go here and it's gonna take you to an external link. And after that, it's gonna let you download. After it's done downloading, it's gonna show up in your Epic Marketplace or library. Okay, so after that's done downloading, it's gonna show up in your vault. And I'm gonna press all here so you can see everything in my vault. And it's gonna be, uh, this is alphabetical order, so meta humans right here. We're gonna create a new one and we're gonna go ahead and just name this meta humans tut. Okay, so after that, we're going to open and launch Unreal Engine 4.26. Okay, and then what we're going to do is click more. And you should see it right here. Meta Humans Tut. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is let's go ahead and turn on our FPS. Show FPS or Control Shift H so we can see that. And if your laptop is crying right now, you can change the scalability to low. Okay, you can change this all the way to near and that should increase your FPS and by default the camera I'm WASDing here kind of like a video game so the camera is fast at first all right so the next thing we're gonna do is just make sure um, live link is on as you can see it's already here but let me go ahead and show you go to edit plugin and it should already be on so Apple you have the AR kit right here and the face support make sure those are turned on okay and then uh, let's go ahead and exit out of that because it's already on. If I press G, it's going to remove all those icons so, you know, we can get rid of them. So this project has two different characters. Now, everybody's been using this lady, so I know I've been using the Asian one for a little bit. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and go to the content here and go to the main folder here. So we're just looking at this main folder. Now, what I'm going to do next is go to Windows. And if you click Live Link right here, you're going to see this live link that I just docked. You can just dock this everywhere you want. I have it dock right there. So you have the place actors and then the live link. All right. So like I said, we're going to be working on the Asian guys. So what I'm going to do is actually go ahead and delete this girl in the outliner right here. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this girl right here. And yes to all is okay and I'm also gonna delete this example so whenever I press play it's not gonna play because this is an actual ad that they had so I'm gonna go ahead and delete this right here so when I press play it should uh, shouldn't play anything pretty much and then what I'm gonna do now is just delete this wall and I'm gonna go ahead and save all and that's gonna reveal our character right here I'm gonna go to edit plugins and I'm gonna go ahead and turn on HDRI backdrop enabled and I'm gonna go ahead and restart. And then what I'm gonna do is drag and drop an HDRI right here that I downloaded from HDRI Haven. All right, so we have this HDRI here and what I'm gonna do is go back to the place actors, type in HDRI, and I'm gonna drag and drop that here. And then what I'm gonna do is just kind of move it down and you can disable the snap tool right here so you get a little bit of a smooth gradient on your movements. Okay, just making sure the floor is kind of good here. That's fine. And then what I'm going to do is pretty much delete these lights because uh, we don't need it because we're using HDRI. Delete these, delete these, delete this, delete this, delete this, delete this. And let's go ahead and delete the camera. So this project also comes with two post-processing volumes that we can delete as well since we're just trying to learn how to uh, do the mocap anyway. And I'm going to go ahead and save all. Okay. So you can see he's not gonna look that great because we're pretty much disabled a lot of stuff like lighting um, and additionally I do have it at low 
Uh, so, yeah, and what I'm going to do again is just add a light in front of him. So he's got a little bit of a kind of catch light. Because right now his eyes are really dark. So let's just move into a 3D space, go up, and then let's take a look. All right? And if you're going to notice, the further you are away from him, the uglier he gets. Well, that's really, that's pretty common. I mean, even in real life. You know what I mean? The farther the people are, well, actually, it's opposite in real life, but never mind. And that's because of the uh, level of detail, like I talked in my previous videos. And I am going to be um, creating another video about the level of detail, because a lot of people want to know about that. But uh, for the sake of this video, just keep it simple. We'll kind of stay up close, all right? That being said, what we're going to need to do now is actually connect our iPhone to this system here. And to do that, I'm going to need my IP address. So go to the command prompt and look for your IP address. Make sure that you also don't have any antivirus software or anything like that, because that might actually block this connection. But you're going to need to connect to the same internet on both your iPhone and your computer that you're using. If not, it is not going to work. Okay? So with that being said, let's take a look at some stuff here. Let's go ahead and keep deleting some more stuff that we don't really need. And let's delete the fog because that's pretty expensive. And this as well, we don't really need. Go ahead and save again. Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and fire up my app here in a second. Okay. So I am actually in the app. There you go. You want to see my face? Well, now you see it. Uh, but basically to set it up, we're going to click on the top right. Oh, sorry. Just to set it up, we're going to click on the top left corner there. And I'm going to click on live link. And that's the name of my phone. And my IP address is this. If there's nothing there, just click add target. And the default uh, last five is 1111. So just put your IP address before that you get from command prompt in here. And then add target. And then we're going to go ahead and go back. And then the next thing I want to do is actually turn on stream head rotation because we actually want it to uh, pretty much copy our head and neck movement as well. Okay, so let me go ahead and go back to our main page here and it's going to bring us back here. So now what I'm going to do is actually go to the Unreal Engine 4 live link. So right away, the live link should actually pick up this phone right here which is really cool because it's just going to show up there. If it doesn't, then that means you either have an antivirus blocking it or you got your IP address wrong. But the live link should already show up. And that's pretty much it. All we have to do now is click on this. Let me go ahead and delete this here. Sorry. That's just a control. Click on the BP here, the blueprint for the character itself. And they made it super easy for you to start controlling this BP. If you go right here in the default under the BP meta human, you go to this and choose your iPhone. <laughs> that changed the LOD, it's kind of funny. And then just click LL link face head. There you go, so that switches it back. And now if we go to, we just gotta make sure we're in game mode as well. Go to Windows and we're gonna go to World Settings. Let's make sure, okay, so there's none. That's, that's good right here, I'm looking at that. And then if I go to play and I go to simulate, That's pretty much it. I mean, my eyes are looking away because I'm looking at my screen, but uh, that's pretty much it. So you can wink. So this uh, face, uh, so this face has so many freaking blend shapes in it. But right now, a lot of people are actually complaining about the mouth not closing all the time. So if I close my mouth right now, you see that. But I mean, you can close your mouth like, oh, like that, I guess. But with motion capture, it's really different. You're gonna have to practice and tweak a lot of settings uh, for your characters because it's weird. The way the phone is capturing is obviously not gonna be the same as the face on your CGI. I mean, it is a cell phone after all, so you are gonna have some limitations there. So the next thing we're gonna do is just pretty much record using our app and your Unreal Engine 4. So you can record it on your phone directly, but you can also do it like this here. So we're gonna go to Sequencer, Windows. Sorry, we're gonna go to Windows, Cinematics, and Sequence Recorder. My Sequence Recorder is already right here. That's why it's not showing up. And let me go ahead and 
press stop and I'm gonna go ahead and remove all this so you can kind of see what we're doing I'm gonna go ahead and press simulate here see this okay and then what I'm gonna do is click on the actual BP on the right side add that to the sequencer recorder and then press record and it's gonna show a little countdown here what's up guys so you know I'm just testing this out because a lot of people wanted to know how to do this from scratch so here you go with my face and everything with my kids yelling in the background so uh, 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 oh that's that is just that's just weird all right so press stop and what's gonna happen is I'm gonna go ahead and ignore all this it's just shooting it's pretty much looking for that uh, sequence that we deleted uh, if you go right here you're gonna see the open record sequence go ahead and open that up and it's gonna take you to a sequence Duh. Um, what it's gonna do is actually create a copy of your human character here you see there's two one inside the sequence and one inside your outline so what I'm gonna do is get our original and just hide it okay and you're probably thinking to yourself wow that looks like crap well thanks to style Marshall again the granddaddy of Unreal Engine 4 uh, if you go to face right here and change the animation mode to custom mode and then just keyframe right here in zero zero now I'm gonna go ahead and hide this again right here now you're gonna see our recorded facial motion capture and if I play this there you go and let's go ahead and get the frames per second up oh this is showing real time okay so I'm gonna go ahead and go here and we're at 30 frames per second okay Oh, and by the way, I know a lot of people ask all the time, my specs, RTX 3090, Intel 10900K, 4.9 gigahertz, and 64 gigs of RAM. So that's what I'm kind of working with here. And then to break this here, we're going to crank this up to cinematic. And let's see if my computer dies. I'm going to go ahead and press play. So you can see there, I'm getting like 19 frames per second. And my screen is like flickering like crazy. All right, here we go. So we're about to, this is the end of the tutorial. I'm just trying to see if I can break my computer. Here you go, 13 seconds. But look at that, that looks awesome. But yeah guys, after that, all you have to do is export your movie right here or the movie render queue and you are good to go all right so hopefully you guys learned something new today make sure to like this video if you want to see more i know i've been uploading a lot of meta human videos it's because people are going crazy about it right now